We need to talk about Perry Bar because it was at the heart of the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham last year. Do you remember? But why do so many people live in and work in there feel like it's worse off? This morning, we've been hearing from people living and working around the big new development, which was supposed to be the athletes' village for the Games. Around 1,000 flats are now finished, but they're still empty. Some people have lost their businesses, their homes, which were bulldozed to make way for it. Our reporter, Laura Chiverton, has been down there to speak to people. Well, this place is called Blue Marlin in Perry Bar, and my name is Tash, and I'm here every day and see what's happening. So, yeah, the building work affected us major because for the Commonwealth, they told us that people would come by so we could get business. The, the road works was there for nearly three years because it was building the flats. Then there was transferring the athlete from town straight to the ground. There was nobody passed in here, so we get no farmer business for nearly three years. Things was a bit dead. Mm. Yeah, it affected us major, major, major. I mean, the one-stop Perry Bar uh, Market Village, it started, and then there was a lot of uh, disruption. People couldn't get into the, the centre, lost a lot of business. It was quite a shambles, actually, and it's quite surprising that it hasn't, hasn't actually finished yet. So really, it's a waste of money, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And um, the council should come out and say what's actually going on. No one's benefit in Birmingham from that Commonwealth Games. As far as I'm concerned, nobody's benefit. There was nothing here to get us involved in it. And also, the roadworks, that was terrible. A lot of business here has closed down because of that. So they need to do something about it. Khalid Munir, I'm a manager here at Austin Self Storage on Austin Lane, Perry Bar. I've had loads of customers coming here where they were putting their fixtures and fittings of the shops and they couldn't afford to move anywhere else. So they had to shut down. Then they come and talk to you and they say how they're struggling and what happened and they had a business and it was shut down and now they can't even afford to pay the rent for the storage. That's when you get to learn, you know, when they struggle to pay rent for us. Which is really sad, isn't it, to think of that lots of people, that they couldn't recover from this? Of course it is sad. A lot of small businesses were shut down and uh, that's their livelihood gone. Hi, my name's Nadia. Um, I live in Perry Bar. I've been in Birmingham for now, coming up to 13 years. And um, the area has gone, you know, downhill. I wouldn't say it's gone uphill, even though they've tried to upgrade it. I just think that they wasted a lot of money in a project that's sitting there empty. I don't know how many homes there are just there. It's like a couple of thousand, say. And that money, what have they done with it? Well, joining me now on the show is Mariam Jan, the Lib Dem councillor for Perry Bar on Birmingham City Council. Um, morning, Mariam. Morning, hello. Do you understand the frustration of people in Perry Bar? <laughs> yes, because we're just as frustrated as ward councillors as well. Um, this has been a, um, it's been a disaster for a lot of communities and a lot of businesses as a, as um, we're already speaking of businesses that are struggling. One stop basically had to some of the um, owners had to shut down because they were losing a lot of business. Uh, the staff couldn't come in on time because due to the flyover being removed, which didn't need to be taken away. If something's working, why take it away and why waste money? And that's something that we've been protesting and fighting myself and Councillor Hunt in regards to all these changes that we were not even happy with. Um, and and then they, they, they want consultations. Hello, but are you not listening to the residents in the communities and the business owners? Clearly there wasn't. They had their own agenda. That's all they cared about. And this is the consequences now of um, what's been happening um, before the Commonwealth Games and after the Commonwealth Games. So um, in regards to like on Warsaw Road, um, we've been, I've been submitting petitions. The businesses there, Goodfellas, lost £55,000 uh, due to transport for West Midlands and um, Birmingham City Council. Then the, the chemists and um, the hairdressers and the doctors, they were all affected um, due to this. Um, and it's just uh, basically, I don't think it were, they did what they should, should have done. The chaos was phenomenal. I mean, while all the works was going on, while I was commuting just about um, on Warsaw Road, I had three vehicles crashing to me because the ditch didn't know which way to go. The uh, traffic is absolutely manic. It's um, I don't even like to go and shop in one stop. So a lot of other people feel the same because of the chaos. 
it's causing. And even up to now, the chaos is still there because, as I said, if you don't change something, because once you do, you can't take, you can't bring it back. So I totally, fully understand the frustration for the residents, business owners and the communities because there was a lot of things that shouldn't have been done that were done and we were ignored as well. So um, it's been a constant battle and fight um, to basically listen to the residents and for the council office to listen to what we're saying. And a lot of mistakes were made. However, in regards to the properties, um, the reason why they're not sold as of yet, there's about 90 people waiting to purchase um, some of the apartments um, at the Athletes Village. But due to what the uh, bank is saying, due to the mortgage, they're saying the ask of the prices of the value are too high for the apartments and it needs to be decreased. So I think the regenerate director for the regeneration program is speaking with the banks to try and get this resolved. But there is about 90 people. So, and there is also, um, uh, they want to basically knock down a racetrack and build additional houses. I think what they need to do is get these properties um, uh, um, basically lived in before they can consider anything else. And Perry Bar is put on as um, um, a sporting area, not a, a full development. Yes, I know we need houses, we need this and that. But um, unfortunately, building all these houses in Perry Bar and taking away sports facilities for the communities, including parks and open green spaces, they're just basically not thinking about the existing communities. And I fully understand their frustration and passion with all these um, changes due to the Commonwealth Games. But Mariam, just just to confirm, you know, one of the reasons why you're saying the flats are still empty is is because the price of the mortgages that would be given for people to live in them is it's too high. Is that what you're saying? That's correct. So that's why they're trying to discuss this uh, with the banks and with the regener director of regeneration program. But, so um, that's the hold up. But here we are almost a year later. I've, I've spoken to people who have lived in homes that have been um, demolished um, because of the compulsory purchase order, who had to go into a travel lodge for temporary accommodation whilst they figured out a place for them to go. I've spoken to people who have businesses nearby who have been destroyed for all of this to happen. And here we are a year later because the mortgage properties are just too high. Yeah, that's, that's, that is correct. And it's just like with the business owners, I mean, some of them on Aston Lane where the new job centre is, there used to be businesses there, a furniture shop, um, there was um, an internet cafe, and we we were fighting to keep their fighting to keep their spaces, and they didn't have anywhere else to go to. And every location that they were trying to find for these businesses, basically they couldn't, and some of them are still waiting. So it's it's, it's it is a complete frustration. Um, having all these empty properties, they should it's, it's they should have realised this before. They should have looked at it before. But at the end of the day, who's suffering? the community and the residents and the business owners. You've also been involved in the campaign surrounding the planned changes to Perry Park as well. Yes, yes. We're fighting extremely hard because, um, as I said, it's the residents and the communities that keep suffering. The council are making empty promises to residents. Oh, you, after the games, you'll get your park back. After the games, you'll get this. After the games, you'll get your play area. Um, and now it looks like we ain't going to get no play area until potentially next year. Um, and Perry Park, they want to add a volleyball. Um, uh, but however, <laughs> considering the climate and the weather that we've got, is volleyball really accessible in that spot? And that space is for dog walkers, residents, children. They already missed out in over a, year, a couple of years of having that open green space used for them. And, and for, for them to put another sporting facility, they could use a, a racetrack, the dog racetrack. They can put the volleyball there. They can do the warm-ups there. They don't need to knock things down and take things away. Um, as I says, um, people are suffering. And Perry Park, we are going to continue to fight. The consultation ends on the 14th of August. So if nobody's going to um, basically um, get involved with the consultation, I'd strongly advise you to do so. We had the sports director, Dave Wag, attend our ward forum a couple of weeks ago. Um, discussing with the community and the residents the potential changes. But as uh, we stated in our ward forum that please have your say, you can go to the Central Library in City Centre, you can go to Tower Hill, Warsaw Road, you can go to the Alexander Stadium and the consultations are there. So have your, have your views and basically express how you feel and what concerns that you are not happy with and what you are happy with because we need everyone to be vocal in order to be heard. And even though I know um, previously we've all been let down. 
but we have to fight no matter what. Perigo has been a constant battle and a constant fight since um, the games were announced. Mariam Jam. Thank you so much for being with me on the show this morning. That's the Lib Dem councillor for Perry Bar. 90 people interested in buying so far, but when they go for a mortgage, the bank's telling them it's not worth the asking price. We got in touch with Birmingham City Council about all of this, and they said the first phase of the award-winning Perry Bar residential scheme, comprising of 968 apartments, is open to purchasers, and anyone interested in them included the, uh, the discounted units. They can make inquiries with Connell's Estates agents for more information. The regeneration of Perry Bar inev- inevitably led to some disruption, but the area has benefited from a massive £700 million investment in new homes, a transport Transport infrastructure, public realm, and other facilities. The council's Perry Bar 2040 master plan will build on the investment, meaning the residents and businesses of Perry Bar will reap the rewards for many years to come. If you live in Perry Bar, after hearing from Mariam Jan about that, the community where you live, here we are a year later after so much was promised. What do you think? How does this make you feel? <laughs> 